Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are listening to the most electrifying podcast in all of internet radio today. You are listening to the Sports Wire. My name is Vinny Apicella and I am here with you. It is 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning, March 31st, 2020. And I, I need to apologize. I know I put it out on Instagram yesterday. Uh, at, uh, at, I'm going to say it like it's the screen name. Uh, Bubba Collins from Memory Lane Podcast is supposed to join me on a podcast uh, to be released yesterday. We we're supposed to record it yesterday. Due to scheduling conflicts, it didn't work out. We are we did reschedule. We're going to do it tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, so as of now, uh, we will be recording tomorrow night. Bubba Collins and I uh, will be talking about WrestleMania, WWE, and a whole slew of stuff. It's going to be great. It will be a longer episode. I'm not going to cut it off in 15 minutes. Um, so it's going to be a longer episode. Just want to let you know who knows how long it'll be, but it will be entertaining. Uh, he's great with wrestling and great with, uh, real sports. <laughs> um, but especially going forward with this coronavirus stuff, um, how that has affected, uh, you know, sports going forward as, as, as we know it. Um, this is something that's really, uh, unprecedented in our time, in our generation, uh, in, in our lifetime. So it's, uh, it's strange. Anyways, so just building off of that, I know I skipped, uh, I know I skipped Monday with a show, uh, Sunday night. I decided not to record an episode to take one day off. Uh, but you know what? I'm here now and it's all that matters. So let's go over something. We know that Obviously, WWE WrestleMania is going to be this coming Saturday and Sunday, both nights, uh, starting at 7 p.m. on WWE Network. Uh, one hour pre-show on each night, starting at 6. And uh, actually, ESPN has been running uh, a lot of older, res- not even older, but just more recent WrestleManias. Last weekend, uh, it was WrestleMania 30. This past sa- Sunday, it was WrestleMania 32. And then this coming Sunday, before night two of, Russell, of, of this WrestleMania, they will be showing WrestleMania 35 at 3 p.m. on ESPN. Uh, just absolutely amazing uh, that they must be hard up for, for, for content. But regardless, it's great to see WrestleMania on ESPN. It just shows that either A, they're <laughs> struggling for content, or they're just taking, you know, make, taking WWE a lot more serious lately. Uh, But I want to say that, uh, you know, it's been great because WWE, I mean, even AEW to a lesser extent because they still have been doing, you know, their shows. But WWE has been putting out a lot of content, Uh, pre-recorded, no fans, you know, WrestleMania has already been recorded. Uh, We know Roman Reigns is not going to be taking on Goldberg and said it's going to be Braun Strowman. And I applaud his decision. I respect it. You know, he's got to put his family, his health first, especially the fact that, you know, he has had leukemia, he's immunocompromised, um, and I get it, uh, The Miz was apparently sick or something, um, so he was sent home, uh, so it's gonna be a three-way ladder match at WrestleMania, but only one person of each team for the tag team championships, uh, you know, Andrade is out, uh, so he's not going to be there. Instead, he's being replaced with Austin Theory, uh, which that's big props for Austin Theory. You know, the, the, the only time I really saw him was on, on that Evolve special on the WWE Network. And then he went over to, I think, NXT UK, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now he's up on Raw. So big break. Um, we know Dana Brooke and Rey Mysterio are both out because they're under... Self-isolation, quarantine, whatever the case is. Just this this coronavirus and everything is wreaking havoc everywhere, you know. And, and it begs the question as to why the WWE is still, you know. Like, my thing is like, okay, I get it. They wanted to get through WrestleMania. Vince McMahon is, he's a stubborn, stubborn old bastard. He really is. And I, get, I have a lot of respect for him and his work ethic and I give him a lot of props. Uh, but there's a point where you got to say enough's enough and just kind of pull the plug where you have to. Uh, I honestly feel like WrestleMania, 
especially because the Raw after WrestleMania is so huge and the crowd is supposed to be, you know, usually so awesome and, and vocal and it's like the start of your new season. I honestly feel like WrestleMania should be end of the season for right now. And, you know, take some time away, close down, you know, air. You know, you've got a huge-ass library. Why can't you put along clips of those? Like, for example, something that we've never seen. The best of Jerry Lawler, you know, on, on USA. Do a three-hour thing going back from Memphis and, and everything that Jerry Lawler's been a part of. You know, you could do the Jerry Lawler and Andy Kaufman stuff. You could do the best of the King's Court when... Jerry Lawler was making fun of Brahart's parents. Um, and, you know, just go with that. You could go with a lot of stuff and spotlight some guys. Um, get some more viewers because I think eventually that's, you're going to end up turning people away with this empty arena stuff. And, you know, it, I, while I said I applaud the, them for providing entertainment and content, I honestly feel like after WrestleMania, put a hold on everything. You know, just say due to the, you know, and, and it's like we know that the coronavirus is affecting everywhere. You know, the NBA, NHL, XFL, Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer, um, you know, New Japan, they've all canceled everything and because of the COVID-19. So why can't WWE do the same? Uh, you know, they're not going to, they would actually be looked at more favorable. And here's the problem is like, Let's say AEW beats them to the punch and says, you know, we're, we're suspending all operations. We're going to show, you know, for the next three weeks on on uh, Dynamite, we're going to show three hours, the three hours of Double or Nothing or the three hours of All Out uh, or Revolution, whatever, on TNT. They're going to look be looked at as the better company because they're, they're taking their, their talent's health seriously and everything. Um... So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, even General Hospital as a soap opera, they're, you know, the soap operas are, they're not recording right now. General Hospital has six weeks of shows in the can. Hopefully, the six weeks it will be enough. If not, they'll probably end up going to, uh, they'll probably end up going to, you know, reruns as well. Uh, you know, I know that there are some that take like six months in advance, so they're, they're fine. I think that's what Young and the Restless is, like a six-month delay on their shows. But, you know, the the fact is that I honestly feel like um, the longer WWE and AEW, for that matter, hold out, they're putting more people at risk. And let's try to squash this and, and you know, flatten the curve, so to speak. We know that the numbers are going to jump because people are finally getting tested and we finally have the right tests. You know, we know that's going to happen. Uh, apparently, the doctor had said that he's thinking that there's going to be 200,000 deaths in the U.S. alone from this thing. I think that's kind of high, especially considering we're only at 3,000 deaths right now in the country. Less than 200,000 worldwide. Um, so, I think that's a stretch. I would say maybe 20,000 deaths, you know, is more is roughly the same. Or roughly what it's going to be. But there's a lot more people recovering from this disease than there are dying. And the majority of people dying are older or already have, you know, already have underlying factors. Um, you know, and, and, and even if you contract the coronavirus with, with a, an underlying factor, chances are it's not the coronavirus that's going to kill you. It's the underlying factor mixed with. But they're going to still attribute it to a coronavirus death. Um you know, so so the numbers are going to be skewed. And that kind of goes back to what Eric Bischoff has talked about the ratings, you know, saying that some people could be counted twice in the ratings. So the numbers are always going to be different than the official released numbers. Kind of like how, you know, the WWE pads their numbers for uh, admission, you know, for, 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 for attendance, you know. I remember listening to a something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard and Conrad had brought up, well, you know, people are saying that, you know, the attendance is X, Y, and Z or whatever. And but yet WWE is saying it's a higher number. And Bruce trying to say, yeah, well, the attendance is the amount of people 
in the facility, not just, <laughs> you know, kind of like, not just the people sitting in the stands, it's all the people that are the production crew and everything, that's the full attendance. Uh, I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce, I don't know about that. Uh, but, because when I think of attendance, I think of the people sitting in the stands enjoying it, not the people who have to be there who are being paid, you know, like the, the crew and... You know, the people, the, the ring crew, the referees, the, the production crew, you know what I mean? That, to me, doesn't... But whatever. <laughs> um, anywho, I uh, want to thank you for listening. Uh, my name is Vinny Apicella, and uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow, Wednesday night. Um, I might put one out tomorrow, Wednesday morning. Uh, you know, one of these quick ones. Not sure yet, but definitely tomorrow night I will be... Recording with Bubba Collins from Memory Lane Podcast. And, uh, you know, again, you can always subscribe to the Sportswire on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, everywhere you find your favorite podcasts. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Again, you can always follow me on Twitter at VAPICELLA SWE. Follow the Sportswire on Twitter and Instagram at Sportswire Audio. You could also go ahead and email me, sportswireaudio at gmail.com, and go to sportswireaudio.com, bring it right to our anchor.fm page. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe, stay socially distant, <laughs> have a great day.